Howdy, my name is James Sweezy, and I'm a person in long-term recovery. And I want to talk to you for a minute about powerlessness and what it means to me to be powerless over drugs, alcohol, other people, and the outcome of situations. You hear the second half, though, other people and the outcome of situations. So this can apply to normal people, too. You don't have to be in recovery to understand that you're powerless over how things are going to turn out in the long run. Um, you know, I was down at the local homeless shelter and uh, I heard everybody standing up saying, yeah, I know I'm, I'm powerless over drugs and alcohol. And, uh, my sponsor said to me, he said, man, when are you going to stop telling your family, your mother, your father, the judge, the lawyer, the PO that you're powerless, admit it to yourself. See, I'll admit powerlessness to judges, lawyers, doctors, my family. I'll admit it to everybody else because it gets me out of the consequences. It gets me out of trouble. When, at what point do I stop and take a look at myself and say, I have to be powerlessness because every time I do these things, I end up homeless or I end up broke and hurt by myself. I do it to myself. And, you know, I'm down at the local homeless shelter and I'll see a guy having a horrible day a horrible day. And uh, I don't have any money. I don't have anything to eat. I don't like the food here. I don't have any cigarettes, you know. And then they're over in the phone, dropping the quarters in. Mama, daddy, or whoever, a loved one, a friend that'll answer the phone and say, man, yeah, I know I, I found God and I'm powerless. I know I'm powerless over drugs and alcohol. Could you help me out with 20? And then the person on the other end of the phone many times will turn around and say, yeah, I'll bring, you know what? I'll bring you down 20 bucks so you can get you something good to eat and I'll get you a pack of cigarettes. And they hang up the phone and they are just so happy walking away from the phone talking about God is good all the time. No, God did not intervene and get you a pack of smokes, dude. God intervened a long time ago by putting people in your life that care about you. It's time. It was time for me to stop admitting powerlessness to everybody else, turn around and admit it to myself. Don't say it to anybody anymore. Don't tell other people about it anymore. You ever been out in a, uh, a gathering and somebody put their hand up and say, yeah, I know I'm powerless over this disease. No, we're not powerless over the disease. We're powerless over drugs, alcohol, other people in the outcome of situations. And the 11th step, it says, praying only for the knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. If you use the steps the way I was taught to use them or the way your sponsor will teach you to use them, you gain some power back to where we can start living again and start following our goals and dreams. If you know anybody that's struggling with this, you can share my video, like my page, expect nothing, blame no one, do something, y'all.